Oh, I think so, but I'm not sure. Hey guys, it's Jim down on the U.S. Mexico border. We just had, I believe, our count. What is our count, Chin? 23? Just got 23 Brazilians crossing. And uh, as you can see, they're a little further down now. This is by the bridge. This is the area that uh, I watched my video from yesterday. Uh, Ryan Goldfetch, uh, the guy who set up the GoFundMe page for uh, the wall. This is the area where uh, if we get that wall deal done, uh, this ain't going to happen anymore. But uh, as you can see, lots of kids in this group. Um, you know, it's the same story, same deal. They bring the kids, they use them as a passport. Uh, but, uh, it's so, what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of hold them here for a little bit. There's our man Chin. I don't know if you guys have seen Chin yet. He works real closely with the group. <clears throat> Do you guys believe this? They just they just come over here like they like they just got off the airplane. No big deal. I got my kid, so just to you know get me to that border patrol Uber so I can take advantage of America. But nothing to see here. No crisis. So yeah, so what'll happen now is uh, we'll end up getting a processing van over here and uh, oh yeah, yeah, this is, and you know what's funny about this is the, these guys typically, you know, they come in a little arrogant, they don't like to uh, walk too far, um, even though the Mexican police are stationed uh, at, the, at the area, I always show you guys the memorial, the monument. Uh, but these are, these are the same uh, ones that if you guys saw one of my earlier videos, uh, that you have a hard time listening to orders from Border Patrol. And uh, so it's, uh, oh yeah, cell phones. Um, like I said, they probably flew in first class. Um, there's no crisis that I'm aware of in Brazil. And, uh, you know, the real question that everybody in America should be asking is, who's organizing this? Who organized this invasion? Because uh, you all know that, that these groups, these caravans that are coming up here, you know that, the, that those people didn't just all of a sudden one day wake up one morning and say, hey, let's go to America. Let's uh, get 10,000 people together and go to America. And that. So that's one of the things that, uh, you know, I, I keep bringing up is, is uh, there's a lot more to this. We're being invaded, and, uh, you know, the only way to stop this is to to get the Congress to change laws. But also, too, guys, I'm, I'm so happy that, you know, our videos made a difference. You guys got the videos out there, and people saw that there was a need for a wall here. And now having Brian and them down here, they're in a hurry to get the wall built here, right here at this monument. This is the area uh, where you guys have seen a lot of our videos go down. And uh, so getting a wall over here, it, it, it's a good start. It's a major hole. It's going to push the traffic further towards the desert. So, you know, some of these people that think it's just going to be a short flight in and an Uber ride to the border, um, you know, if we can take care of some of these little holes sector by sector, um, it's going to uh, it's going to be able to free up some of the border patrol. <clears throat> and uh, they're just not going to cross. They, they won't be crossing here. They'll be sneaking around it. So, um, 
Yeah, well, I got a news flash for you guys. Um, a lot of these people don't realize that once they get sent to processing, it's so busy right now that all these extra bags are going to get thrown in the trash. So, just a little something, a little surprise for them. They might be getting out in 20 hours, but uh, they're certainly not going to have their luggage well taken care of. But again, <clears throat> the point is, they're taking advantage of what we have here. They're taking advantage of our laws. Donald Trump's trying to build a wall, trying to get security done, and everybody's fighting them. Everybody is, uh, you know, trying to help these voters get in here, help them start a new life, and uh, <clears throat> it's absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And like I said, a lot of these kids, and I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of these kids are being used and sold and rented and recycled, a lot of child trafficking, um, a lot of people that come in here, like I've told you guys before, uh, when they go through processing, if they're from a, a third world country, we don't have a background on them, so I don't know if they're running a wanted murder or a rapist or, you know, we don't really know. seven years old that they probably won't show up to or you know maybe they'll have a baby in the meantime and use our anchor baby laws or, uh you know something else but uh it, it certainly uh is people taking advantage i mean they're laughing as they're coming in here you know it's almost as if they people prepared for a two-week vacation so you know when, when uh, these people come in and then they'll cry and say oh i need asylum for my life. I mean, you can see here, guys. Come on. <clears throat> this doesn't take brains. <clears throat> so, here we go. It's just another example of, uh, of what's going on, guys. And you know who gets rich off of this? The cartel, Mexico. Uh, they're paying anywhere from $1,500 to $5,000 a head uh, to get them through. And usually what happens is when we got a group like this, and this isn't, you guys have seen much bigger groups than we've captured, but you get a group like this, and uh, there's usually something else going on. There's usually, this is a distraction for something else. So here comes our processing vehicle, one of the vans. that some people wear masks out here it's because there's a lot of illnesses coming into the country uh, I'm not saying it's one particular group but I'm saying that there's a lot of disease being brought in and so people are taking precautions um, So what happens when they go to processing is basically it, it takes about two uh, hours per person to uh, get everybody processed. And uh, there's a big line right now. We have a facility that holds 4,000 people. But uh, right now there's about 16 to 17,000 people. And uh, yeah, Whitley, uh, I don't think so. I think that uh, we do know what we're talking about. You're witnessing what we're talking about. If you think this is okay, there's something wrong with you, Whitley. Come in the legal way or don't come in at all. Like Trump said, guess what? We're full. We don't have any room, and that's the truth. We don't have room for these people. So, bottom line is, they're here. They're still here. And uh, all we can do is do what we're doing right now. Thank you guys for sharing these videos. 
Um, we got a train going by, but thank you for sharing the videos because that's how we're going to get this message out, guys. It's the only way we're going to get this message out.